if you want to be a good researcher, there are some top skills in which you should to be master in. The first one is the research skills. The area in which you are conducting your research, you should to be familiar and be master with the related tools and techniques which are involved in your research. Secondly, you should to be good in academic writing. How to convince the reader that your work is impactful. How to bring the copywriting skills in your writing and to know the technical terms and sentences which are being used in your specific studies are the key points. So you should to be good in research skill, you should to be good in writing skills and you should to be good in selling skills or the selection of the words which help you to not only sell your work, sell your work means to convince the readers to read your work and to sell your skill in a good place. So today we are going to learn about the second skill that is how you can be a good academic writer and I'm not going to share any of the manual tips for you. I'm going to introduce two very important and authentic platforms which are going to help you to improve your academic writings and help you to do brainstorm and to do some exercises and how you can be a good writer by using your own technical skills and by leveraging the benefits these platforms are offering you. You can access these two platforms from the link which are given in the description box. The first platform is Academic Phrase Bank. This is by the University of Manchester and this is going to provide you a complete breakout for any kind of a research writing. When you start research writing then definitely you start with the introducing your work then you go to the literature survey and you find the sources and refer these sources to your studies then you describe the method and report your results and then these discuss your results and at the end you write conclusion of your studies. So in a stepwise process they are going to provide you the breakdown of each kind of a writing and they are not just going to provide you the uh, essential um, skills or an essential mindset you should have to, to write that specific uh, chapter or a specific piece of information rather than they are going to provide you a data bank at the name indicates academic phrase bank they are going to provide you list of sentences which are being used in that specific chapter according to the need of the writings for example if we are on the beginning stage and we are introducing our work what you should to be consider when you are writing the introduction part of your chapter of your any kind of a research document establish the context background are important of the topic then present an issue problem or controversy in the field of study then move to define the topic or key terms used in that specific research paper or any kind of a research document state the purpose of the essay or short paper the, the type the type of a document on you are working on and provide an overview of the coverage and the structure of the writing and then after getting through all the key areas on which you have to focus on while writing that specific piece of information you will scroll downward and you will have a list of important keywords or important terms you can use in that specific chapter. For example, establishing the importance of the topic for world or society. What kind of a sentences you should use? X is a major contributor to, X plays a critical role in the maintenance of X. X is your specific topic or a title or a field of study you are focusing on. X is essential for a wide range of technologies and then X is a key issue, driver factor, aspect of so these are the academic terms, academic keywords which are being used in academia for that specific purpose to deliver the information. In the same way, you can use X is wide spread. Then you can establish the importance of the topic for the discipline. There are multiple keywords which are being used, establishing the importance of the topic time frame given. Okay, you can establish the importance of it as a problem to be addressed. So there is a hundreds of related keywords and sentences from which you can start your sentence and can break the writing block in your academic writing. In the same way when you move forward you will find referring to the sources and then referring to the sources again. General comments on the relevant literature, previous research and historical aspect. You can start your sentence from these phrases then previous research, methodological approach taken, previous research area investigating. So this phrase bank is going to solve your major problem regarding understanding the idea or brainstorming that what kind of information you are going to include in that specific chapter and then how you have to move on towards your academic writing. So you are getting information along with a lot of data. 
The second platform is a write, Today Online Writing Lab. They are offering online and on-campus writing facilities. But for online writing lab, they are again providing you a detailed concept of each kind of a writing. When you go to the home page, they are giving you the concepts of different kind of APA guide, MLA guide, avoiding plagiarism, and resume guide. For example, we are just going to click the avoid plagiarism that how we can avoid plagiarism in our document. Then they are giving you the brief scenario that what is plagiarism and how you can avoid it and all that and then you can check on the left uh, side and you have a lot of information or a lot of guides that how you can avoid plagiarism for example safe practices we can do an exercise over here what are the safe practices read over each of the following passages and respond on your own or a class as whether or not each passage use citations accurately if it doesn't what would be to improve the passage so it's properly cited so this is the thing yet that you have to do your own exercises and you can improve your writing and you can make your research more impactful in the same way you have a lot of video tutorials along with which are going to help you to make good in academic writing so grammar dangling modifiers a list of other concepts on which you can watch the videos so if you go through these two websites in a detail then nobody can stop you to learn this skill and to be good or master in academic writing whenever you start working to develop any skill the first step is to find the information and the second is to grab that information to absorb that information and the third one is to practice that information so these two platforms are going to help you to take the start you can learn from them can absorb the information and then start practicing and then a day will come that you will be proud on your this skill if you find this video useful then don't forget to give your feedback in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel because here i'm guiding you to be a good researcher and to be good in your academic writing and also exploring the transferable skills or non-academic career opportunities for the science students stay in touch and visit my website www.scientificpakistan.com to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me or to interact with me or to find a lot of stuff which i have created for you to be a good in academics see you in the next video till then take care of yourself bye bye